In this lecture series, let's discuss as a medical physicist how to calibrate a linear accelerator, also called a LINAC for short. This is one of the bread and butter skills a qualified medical physicist must be excelled at. In order to better grasp this skill, we first need to understand some basic concepts, starting with what do we mean when we say calibrate a LINAC? How is a LINAC output defined? In this particular video, we are going to discuss these questions. So a basic important concept is monitor unit. So what is a monitor unit? If we follow the beam path through here, you can see there's an ion chamber in the LINAC head. It collects the charge that the beam produces. A monitor unit is defined as a certain amount of charge produced in this ion chamber. The value of charge that equals to 1 mu can be adjusted. By assigning or adjusting how much charge equals to 1 mu, a medical physicist is adjusting the output of a LINAC. So essentially, a LINAC's output is defined in the unit of centigrade per mu at dmax. Normally, medical physicists adjust the Linux output to 1 centigrade per mu at Dmax during annual test under reference condition. How do we do it? We follow a recipe called TG51 to calculate the Linux output and adjust this value in the Linux treatment control console. Let's take a brief overview of the TG51 recipe. It is an AAPM task group report first published in 1994. It teaches a physicist how to measure the absorbed dose to water at a point inside a water tank phantom under reference condition. It is a recipe that is valid for a wide range of energies, for example, for photon from cobalt 60 up to 50 MeV, for electron from 4 MeV up to 50 MeV. This range includes beams that are applicable in therapeutic range. One thing I want to emphasize is that the TG51 recipe only applies under reference condition. So basically follow this recipe, we measure a point dose in water phantom at a reference point. Then we divided the percentage depth dose at this D ref. We get the dose converted back to D max, which essentially tells us the Linux output. Depending on different types of beam and depending on different energy of the beam, the reference condition varies. Here I list the reference condition we use in our clinic. So first, all TG51 measurements have to be done in a water tank. So we use a water tank phantom for all of our measurements. Second, for both photon and electron beams, we use SSD setup, which means the distance from source to water surface is kept constant as 100 centimeter. There is another setup that you might have heard of called SAD setup, which means the distance from source to the detector is kept as 100 centimeter. Some clinics may use this setup, but in our clinic, we use SSD setup as our reference condition. The reference condition also includes field size. For photon, we use 10 by 10 field size. For electron, we use 10 by 10 cone. So we place an ion chamber, which is our detector for TG51 absolute dosimetry, at a distance D ref underwater surface for dose measurement. Depending on the types of beam, D ref is different. For example, we place the chamber at 10 centimeter underwater surface for all the photon beams, no matter it is 6 MV, 10 MV, or 18 MV. 
For electron beam, it is slightly more complicated because the DREF is energy dependent. So we place the ion chamber at different depths for different energy. Here, for example, R50 is a distance. It means the depth where PDD of an electron beam drops to 50% of its maximum value. And because 6 MeV, 9 MeV, 12 MeV, for example, have different R50 values, the DREF for such energies is different. That means we place the chamber at different distance underwater for electron beams. Last but not least, now we have every component of the res reference condition in water tank. We deliver 100 MU to the chamber, and then we can measure the Linac output for this delivered 100 MU based on the readings of the ion chamber. We follow the TG51 recipe to calculate the output. In the following video lectures, I'm going to discuss more details on how to use this TG51 recipe to calibrate a Linac.